This video is about how to uh, create and manage coupons on WooCommerce, or in this case, we've used the rebranding plugin to call it Fiddler Store. Um, so basically, all you do is you just come here to the coupons thing and then click add a new coupon. And once that comes up, then you put your coupon code up here. So whatever you want it to be. Um, for example, if you want to give your close friends a very special discount, you can just call it my friends. And that's the code that they'll have to enter when they check out is this right here, what you put in. And then you decide what kind of a discount do you want it to be? Do you want it to apply to the whole cart? Um, and if so, then what the dollar amount will be, or do you want it to be a percentage of the cart total? So you can change it to that, or do you want it to just apply to a single product? or a product percentage. Um, so you get to decide which one you want. Um, I'm just gonna go with the cart discount. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give them a $5 discount. Um, if I wanted to go to percentage, then that would be now be a 5% discount. Um, so maybe I want to say 15% uh, in this case. Next thing is individual use. You can check this if you want them to uh, only be able to use one coupon at a time. So if I check this, then this coupon cannot be used with any other coupons. Um, you can apply it before tax. You can have it enable free shipping for them. Um, on this store that I'm working on right now, neither of these are applicable, so I'm not going to turn those on, but you can definitely do those. Um, you can put a minimum amount so that they have to spend us up to a certain amount before the coupon will kick in. You can make it apply to specific products and all you do is start typing the name of that product. So if I do, we only have one in this store so I gotta, I gotta type the correct name. <laughs> Hmm, and it's not finding it for me. Oh, my bad. I just need to click here and it'll tell me. So it wasn't pulling it up because I've got all these variations. Um, so we have one product, but there's a whole bunch of variations, which you can learn about in one of our other videos. So basically, I can just click one of these or multiple ones and say it only applies to these variations. Um, or you can exclude certain things. So you can exclude whatever products or variations you want to. Um, so that will apply to the store in general, but I've got one or two premium items or something that I don't want them to use a coupon on. I can put that here. Or I can exclude an entire category the same way as we did with products. Uh, I, can, I can apply it only to a certain category or exclude it from certain categories. Um, or if I only want certain customers to be able to redeem it, then I can put their emails in here and it will restrict it only to those people. Um, I can limit the usage so you can put the number of times that it can be used. So if I only want it used 15 times or maybe I only want it used a thousand times. And then I can also put in an expiration date. So if I want it to expire on November 30th, I can just put it there. And then all you do is just publish it and that becomes active. Um, and if there's an expiration date, then it will automatically be deactivated on that day when that day comes. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Um, back out here, I'm gonna not save this one and go back out to the main page. Just like with most things in um, WordPress, you can do bulk actions and stuff to them. So if I want, I can bulk edit them. And it only gives me a little bit of options here, but I can apply different things. Or I can delete them, which I'm gonna do with these two since they're just drafts anyway that I'm not using, but it's basically the same interface that you interact with posts and all that kind of stuff in WordPress. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy.